Brook, and it's Griffin's Bar in the centre. On the near side, Young Hustler. And Young Hustler not quite as immaculate as usual. And the faller was Sound Strong. Sound Strong has gone at the first, and it's Griffin's Bar from Young Hustler in second place. Then Sir Peter Lelly in third, followed by Camelot Knight. Then comes Dakin's Boy and Uranus Collange, then Sam Lee and Valiant Warrior. The next is a formidable open ditch, and Young Hustler leads at it from Griffin's Bar, then in third place Camelot Knight, followed by Sir Peter Lelly, and then Dakin's Boy, Valiant Warrior, Uranus Collange, Sam Lee, Court Melody, and some lengths last is Jaltara as they jump the fourth, and Young Hustler over first from Griffin's Bar, and then Camelot Knight in third place, and as they go across the Melling Road, it's over to Peter O'Sullivan. And this old course specialist, uh, Young Hustler, really enjoying himself out in front. He's been absent for 364 days. You wouldn't think of it, think it the way he's going at the moment. And this winner of 15 of his 62 races and clear top weight leads Griffin's boy, Sir Peter Lilly, on the near side. Right up behind them is Court Melody over on the far side, Camelot Knight in a prominent position. And so is Dakin's boy. Spot him with his white cap in fourth place at the moment. Griffin's boy on the near side. Griffin's Bay, rather, and uh, Griffin's Bar, I should say. And on the far side, Young Hustler. Sir Peter Lilly on the near side, and then Dakin's boy and Camelot Knight as they jump that one. And uh, Joel Tara still pretty well in rear, but making ground. Coming down towards the next. Young Hustler, Griffin's Bar, these two. Young Hustler on the far side, Griffin's Bar, almost together these two. Over on the far side, it's Camelot Knight. Just in behind the lead is Dakin's Boy with Court Melody and Sir Peter Lilly and Valiant Warrior has made good ground. Jaltar has made great ground. Then comes Sam Lee, and behind Sam Lee is Uranus Collange, and this is the chair. Young Hustler lands in the lead from Griffin's Bar and Camelot Knight. Jaltar has moved into fourth now. Sam Lee over on the far side, then Dakin's Boy. Then comes Court Melody. Behind uh, Court Melody, Sir Peter Lilly, and over the water, Young Hustler exulting in the lead here as he goes out into the country from Griffin's Bar in second place, Camelot Knight in third, then Jaltara who's moved into fourth on the inside with Court Melody towards his outer. Just in behind them, Sam Lee and Sir Peter Lilly and behind them, Valiant Warrior and then Dakin's Boy who's lost a lot of ground. Uranus Collange is the back marker. Young Hustler is the leader. Griffin's Bar is second. Court Melody is third on the outside, Camelot Knight on the inner and then hacking in behind them is Jaltara as they cross the Melling Road and make their way towards the first fence going down the back stretch and with young hustler in the lead we jo rejoin john hanmer the next fence is the ninth young hustler on the inside of griffin's bar then court melody on the outside and then jaltara continuing to make ground as they come now to the what would be the second fence in the grand national young hustler takes it in front young hustler over in the lead from court melody and griffin's bar then Camelot Knight is close up along with Jaltara. Then on the outside, Valiant Warrior as they come to the next open ditch. And Young Hustler, another good jump in the lead. Jaltara getting ever closer. Then on the near side, Camelot Knight. Griffin's Bar still there. Court Melody out in the middle as they come to the next fence. And Young Hustler's made a bad mistake, a very bad mistake, and lost many lengths. And that has left Camelot Knight in the lead on the inside as they come to the fence before Beaches. From Jaltara in second, then Griffin's Bar third, Court Melody four, then comes Sam Lee, Young Hustler and Valiant Warrior, then Sir Peter Lelly, and Uranus Collange, and tail right off is Dakin's Boy, and the next fence is Beaches Brook. And it's Camelot Knight on the inside, on the right of shot. Next to him, Jaltara. On the outside, Griffin's Bar. And very wide out is Young Hustler trying to get back into the race after that bad mistake. And the one you saw briefly there tailed off, that was Dakin's Boy. As they go to the Foynaven fence. And Camelot Knight and Jaltara. Dakin's Boy has been pulled up. And Camelot Knight leads from Jaltara as they go to the canal turn. Then right on their heels, Court Melody and Sam Lee as they come to this very sharp left-hand turn at the canal and on the inside still Camelot Knight from Chaltara, Griffin's Bar, Court Melody, Young Hustler 
Sam Lee, Valiant Warrior, Sir Peter Lely, and it looks as if Uranus Collange has pulled up as they jump Valentine's. And Court Melody wasn't too clever over there, and Jaltara's taken it up with five to jump. Jaltara from Camelot Knight, then Court Melody getting back into it, then Griffin Spa, Young Hustler, Sam Lee, and Valiant Warrior, and Jaltara a bad mistake that time. Lost many lengths, Camelot Knight back in front as they go to the last ditch, four out. Griffin's Bar, the outsider, running a tremendous race at four out. And Camelot Knight over first from Griffin's Bar. Court Melody, Sam Lee, Jaltara, Young Huster and Valiant Warrior. They're tightly packed as they go to three out. Camelot Knight from Griffin's Bar at the third last. Camelot Knight lands in front of Griffin's Bar, then Sam Lee and Court Melody. And they're racing ahead of Jaltara. But as they go across the Melling Road, with two to jump, it's Camelot Knight in the lead, and over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, it's still Camelot Knight. He hasn't won a race since 1993, but he's two to three lengths clear of Sam Lee over on the far side. Griffin's Bar and Court Melody, the sheepskin nose band, well in touch. Valiant Warriors making ground. It looks as though that mistake by Jaltara has counted him out of it. They've got two fences left to jump now in the Crowther Holmes feature chase, and it's still Camelot Knight, and he's being chased now by Sam Lee. Then Griffin's Bar, then the sheepskin nose band, Court Melody, coming there strongly under Timmy Murphy and moving into third place. Place. Coming down to the second last fence now, and it's Camelot Knight, the leader from Sam Lee and Court Melody. Camelot Knight is not too per foot perfect at that one, and Sam Lee has taken it up now from the Griffin Bar, and then comes Court Melody as they come down towards the final fence, and it's Sam Lee who has the advantage now. Sam Lee jumps, he jumps almost across Camelot Knight, makes a fair mistake. Griffin's Bar is in third, Court Melody is not making any progress at the moment. Valiant Warrior is just in behind. Item. Sam Lee it is under Rodney Parrandau as they race towards the elbow. It's Sam Lee, the leader, Court Melody coming there towards the stand side now. It's Sam Lee from Court Melody and then Camelot Knight racing into the final hundred yards. It's Sam Lee, the leader from Court Melody and Camelot Knight as they race up towards the line. Sam Lee is going to win it from Court Melody. Valiant Warrior will be serving at the line. Sam Lee is the winner at Court Melody second and Valiant Warrior third and fourth is Camelot Knight and five was Griffin's Bar and then came Sir Peter Lely and Young Hustler. All the stuffing taken out of him by that mistake over on the far side but this is the winner number seven, Sam Lee. Owned by the White Lion Partnership, trained by Philip Hobbs and written by Rodney Farrant. Second was number two, Court Melody, owned by Mr. Mick Coburn, trained by Paul Nichols and written by Timmy Murphy. And third was number four, Valiant Warrior, owned by Mr. P. Sellers, trained by Mickey Hammond and written by John Kavanagh, with fourth, number eight, the longtime prominent Camelot Knight. This is the winner, though, Sam Lee. Well, doesn't that tell the story? Little Rod Farrant is absolutely flying now. Well done to him. This horse was second in the Starkest Scottish National at the end of last season there behind Belmont King. He's been given a really patient ride by um, little Rodney here. And well done to the connections, Philip Hobbs.